welcome back to the second video to to how to deal with my exam paper part 2 so uh, the objective of uh, today's video is that by the end of the video you will be able to recognize the techniques on how to answer your exam paper appropriately and how to get 20 out of 20 inshallah so uh, as you have seen uh, in the last video we talked about how to manage time effectively and also how to save your English exam time as I said you can do it just in an hour and 15 minutes good now so as you see here uh, when you are sit, uh, when you are uh, sitting and waiting for the invigilator to hand out the exam the exam papers to you, as you see first you will get a text page one as I said, then uh, page two, then uh, page three, page four. And the last one is page 5. As I said before, always start with the, the exam number. Don't let it at the end because you may forget. Okay. So first start with the exam number, then your first name and family name, then date of birth and place of birth. As you see here, the coefficient is 3 and you have 3 hours to... To write your exam to finish your exam so as I said you can do it in an hour and 15 minutes if you watch the first video the first video I'm sorry so to start as I said you can start with language so language here let's we have uh, 15 points we can start with the task a put the verbs in brackets in the correct form or, or tense it means what it means that we have verbs here in brackets should be put in the correct form when we say the correct form it means what it means uh, gerund or infinitive when we say tense means what it means simple present future uh, simple present perfect past perfect etc and also correct form means correct tense okay to change the form that means to change the tense so here you have sentence one. We have uh, uh, we have uh, uh, two actions. We have joined in the past simple. Then we have here the second action, or you can say it's the first action in the past. So here we have uh, correct form and correct tense. So the first sentence is about correct tense, and the second one is about the correct form. So I think it's easy. Then we have what we have. We have Tick the correct sentence. Tick. This is what that means to choose one. For example, we have item one. If I had known Jamal before, we would have traveled together last summer. Then we have if I know Jamal before, we would have traveled together last summer. So here we have F. F. That means what? That means conditional type. Which type? We have here if I had known. Past perfect. Then here we have would have would have traveled. So this is a conditional type three. But here we have if I know and we have would have traveled. Here we have simple present and we have here would have traveled. That means uh, we don't have this type of condition. So, but A is correct. So, you can take A as the correct answer. And so on. Number two, you have to choose A or B. You can take. You have no right to take both. Take only one answer. Okay. So, uh, then we have C, rewrite the sentences as indicated. As you see here, you have three points. Rewrite here means what? Means to write in other words. So, here we have, uh, we use this task for the lessons like uh, uh, expressing purpose as we have here, in order to. And also we use it when we express wishes and, um, and uh, also with the conditionals especially conditional three and also use uh, rewriting task with the passive voice 
and linking words and uh, reported speech as well. So I think this one is very easy. Then we have task D, write the correct form of the words in brackets. The correct form here means what? It's like uh, task A, but here we have verbs. We are talking about verbs, we are talking about tenses. Tenses are, I'm sorry, or gerund and infinitive. So correct form, gerund and infinitive tenses. But here, the correct form of the words is not about the verbs. The words, we are talking about the words, we are talking about... Um, Verb, adverb, adjective, uh, noun, etc. So for example, here we have this review gives an interesting describe. Describe here we have verb, but here we have interesting. We have what? We have uh, adjective. It means what? What comes after adjective is a noun. That means describe here should be a noun, which is a description. So in this task, we can just either add a suffix or remove or delete. Or we can see remove uh, the suffix. For, for example, we have describe, we are going to remove uh, BE and we add what? We add the uh, P T I O N. And the same thing with product, as you see here. So here it's about adding suffixes or removing suffixes. You can watch uh, uh, the video about suffixes uh, in my channel. You can check my channel to understand more about suffixes. So, um, Task E is about filling the blanks with the right words. I think this one is easy. It's about phrasal verbs. So to choose the phrasal verbs, uh, you have to understand the context or the meaning of the sentence given. Okay. For example, here we have Latifa, one of her Moroccan friends, when she was in New York. So we can we can say came across. That means to meet someone by chance. We cannot say came back, came back to somewhere. That means came back to Morocco or came back to to America. Or, or, and we cannot say came down. So the, the correct answer is came across. That means to meet someone by chance, like uh, Latifa uh, meet by chance uh, one of her Moroccan friends. Okay, that means came across, etc. So. Task F, it's about filling each blank with the appropriate words from the list. I think it's about to understand the meaning. If you understand the meaning, it will be easier for you to choose the right word. For example, here we have four senses, and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven words. That means three words should be eliminated, okay? Should be, are not uh, belonged to this senses to these senses good then we can move to task g match is each expression with its appropriate function so here we have expressions and we have functions some students ma do much like this okay but this is not good uh, the appropriate way is what is what to write uh, for example we have numbers here we have one Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And here in the blanks, you have what you have to write the letters. That means you have to alphabetize, okay? Alphabetize, okay? Not to num, not to number. It's about to to write the alphabets or the letters. For example, one. I shouldn't have missed my classes. So here we have uh, which one? Does it mean suggestion? Suggesting, I'm sorry, expressing lack of understanding, expressing regret, complaining, making a request. So I shouldn't have missed my classes. This is maybe it's uh, uh, expressing regret. So we have to write C here. Could you fill in this form for me? This is what? This is uh, making a request. So you have to write E here, etc. So we have here uh, five functions. That means one must be excluded good and the complete uh, i'm sorry and the last one the last task in the language uh, component is that complete the following exchanges appropriate so we have here uh, situation or just exchange like you have the super cup final match will take place in casablanca we will certainly watch it so you have what you have uh, to respond to the situation. So here you are free. You are not obliged to use uh, uh, 
uh, the function okay you can use any function just uh, try to make it more uh, suitable more appropriate okay uh, to the exchange given and the same thing here. you are free to express or to respond to the situation just to, to make it me meaningful good and after you finish with languages as i said in 15 minutes you can move to the comprehension component as you say or as i said before uh, before we start with the text read the text start with reading instructions first as you see we have comprehension is about 15 points so here we have base all your answers on the text that means all the answers to these uh, instructions or to these tasks are are here on the text not in your mind so here first you can start with the with reading the instructions like here we have choose the best answer so you are going to choose a b or c if it is a write a here if it is b write b if it is c write c and the same thing here complete the chart with the right information from the text so figures you can find numbers you have here numbers and what does this number refer to you have it in the text tommy's age when he joined the drum works project so here you have to mention the age and etc all the information is available on the text then we have here are these statements true or false justify so you have here three statements tommy was punished at school because of his bad i'm sorry of um, his bad behavior so here if it is true write true if it is false write false then you can give uh, your justification that means you can justify if you answer with true and it's true you have what you have a half point but if you answered with true and it's really true but justification is true your answer is one point but if you if you state it is true but but it's true it's true but justification is wrong it's you get what you get half point and if it is true but it is not true and justification is right you get zero so try before justification uh, don't focus more on justification more uh, focus more uh, for i'm sorry focus more on uh, on deciding which you are going to write true or false if it is false you have to be sure justification uh, is the second thing okay try uh, to focus on deciding if the statement is true or false before you give a justification because if you say true it's not true or if you say false but it's not false although justification is right you will get zero so you have three statements that means three points each statement you have one point that means half point if it is true and half point if it is uh, if uh, justification is right okay nice so and try to focus on the first part true or false before you give the uh, justification then you have task d answer these questions so your answers and um, answers are available on the text it's easy for example you have where whenever you have where it's about place what it's about asking for information and how it's asking about manner so where mostly you can find it in paragraph one or in paragraph two what maybe in paragraph two or in paragraph three or four and how maybe in paragraph four five or the last one uh, as you see here you have, they are well ordered so no need to to read if you find the answer in the paragraph one you know you no need to go back to paragraph one and so on so you can go back but not all the time so then you have task uh, b sorry uh, task b it's about uh, uh, sorry task e complete the sentences with information from the text that means you have what you have this sentence is not completed you have to complete it from the text okay that means you have to understand the text to complete for example you are tommy feels very proud when 
maybe when he gets uh, a good mark maybe when he he joined uh, uh, a new high school etc then we have here uh, find in the text find I'm sorry find in the text words or phrases that mean the same as so uh, make it clear for you as you see here we have what we have favorite we have a favorite so favorite here the meaning you know what I mean the mean that means the synonym of this word you will find it in the text that means it's it's here in the text what do we have we have a paragraph two that means uh, you will find it here in paragraph two if uh, if the word is a noun you should find the noun here and if the word is uh, adjective like gifted in paragraph four you will go back to paragraph four try to find uh, the adjective for example here we have gifted gifted and in the text we have paragraph we have what we have talented you see talented we have ed talented is adjective and also gifted is uh, an adjective an adjective i'm sorry so then we can move to the last task which is about what do the underlined words in the text refer to for example the paragraph number three or them paragraph number five to go to the text we have uh, like paragraph three we have uh, d d to refer you have to go back to the previous sentence so to the previous sentence we have d refers to uh, it's a you can say it's plural okay it refers to a group of things or a group of people so if you go back you will find that it refers to the project members so the project members are really helpful if you can't play well they are not going to judge you for the mistakes so d refers to the project members like here we have them you will go back to the previous sentence you can start from the first sentence tommy enjoyed making progress he learned that the only way to improve is to make mistakes and that's and that it's okay to make them that means them it also refers to a plural noun so it refers to mistakes as you see here good that's it so now after that you can go to writing okay as i said you can finish uh, the comprehension in 30 minutes if you followed the techniques that i showed you then you can do the task one in writing as i said in 10 minutes or in 15 minutes that means if you draft if you keep drafting a lot of time more and more so you can just write uh, for example here we have complete the following paragraph about your best friend describe his or her appearance personality interests and hobbies that means appearance you can give uh, one idea one sentence about appearance second sentence about personality and the third sentence about interest and hobbies that means you can just write uh, this paragraph uh, in uh, four sentences or five sentences for example can start with my best friend's name is give the name then full stop as a topic sentence then you can give the second the first sentence to describe appearance tall short etc then we have uh, then you can add a second sentence about personality sociable uh, open-minded etc and we have interests and hobbies that means uh, the first sentence about what he likes what he is interested in doing in his free time etc so it's easy it's very easy you can do it just in uh, five minutes just one sentence for appearance one sentence for personality and one sentence for interest and hobbies that means you can add other sentences if you are uh, if you are good in english just try uh, it's not about to focus on the size or on the quantity of uh, the words that you added that you add to the paragraph but try to focus on uh, accuracy you know, mean accuracy that means don't make mistakes in grammar in uh, punctuation capitalization false stop try to respect uh, uh, like here we have 
my the first m is capitalized that means try to capitalize the first letter whenever you put full stop capitalize the first letter full stop capitalize full, full stop capitalize etc and uh, try avoid try to avoid mistakes okay so the size of paragraph is not important good and the last one it's about uh, write a reply to the following email okay so i am tired of facebook and whatsapp and i think i should stop using them what do you think about this i really need your advice so here you are you have what you have to reply to to this email to your friend and uh, try to give your opinion about uh, about uh, uh, about what uh, your friend said in your email and try try to give uh, to give her advice about how to 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 invest his time or her time so i think it's easy so you, you, you uh, the, the great thing is already given to you hi sue so you can say how are you how is life treating you etc i hope you are doing well you can start you can answer the first question i think um, uh, this is not good you are wasting time on facebook and whatsapp and i think i should and i think you should what you should stop them and do other activities and try then to give uh, advice and activities that uh, you think that are useful for her to do in uh, her free time then you can close your email with the uh, best regards or love or best wishes or see you again or see you soon etc but don't write your name okay never write your name in uh, in email or in uh, in a letter so that's it for you i hope that you learned uh, a lot of things today about how to to deal with the the exam paper and also about how to deal with the uh, the tasks that are given to you because many students are excellent at english but uh, they lack uh, the ability to deal with the exam paper and also about how to answer the questions that are given uh, because they say that uh, uh, and uh, we can say that as you say to understand the question understanding a question is half answer that means if you understand the question you will get 50% uh, of the answer that you are looking for so thank you so much so uh, see you next time in the next video. Goodbye and good luck.